Hello everybody, my name is Shooter101. Now this video, what you're about to watch, has been requested by so many people. It's been requested by like four people. It hasn't been that many, but it's been people. And these people have requested this because they don't know why I do YouTube. They don't know why I do Twitch. They don't know why I stream. They don't know why I record. They also don't know why I keep doing it, despite the fact that I have some view, um, viewers and followers. And of course I've had people say that it's because I want to get to a thousand subscribers so I get money. Not the case. In fact, I probably won't even start monetizing my videos when I get to a thousand just because I don't want to necessarily and for twitch I do it for fun it's streaming it's for fun and um because especially with summer I don't have a lot to do uh last summer I remember I was in my house I'd play video games for about 30 minutes a day then I'd start cleaning because I got bored and then I'd come back to video games play 30 minutes then I'd watch youtube videos for the rest of the day because I was so bored um, and I had nothing else to do. Um, and now that I have Twitch and YouTube and I have the streaming thing, and I even have a job so I can go and work basically whenever I'm requested and stuff like that, it, it just it makes my life so much more e uh, easy and stuff. But the main inspiration is is because a couple of years ago, um, two to three years ago, I met a person who I don't talk to anymore. I, I actually don't talk to them at all. Um, it's not something I do. Um, which is kind of sad, actually, because th this person used to be my best friend. Like, I could not... Like, they gave me so much advice for everything. And then... Um, the one... <laughs> something she said two years ago was like... Um, if you want to do something just do it and i from a younger age i wanted to be a youtuber just because they seem to have so much fun doing it and they do i can tell you right now i have so much fun doing youtube until i have to edit um but yeah every word she's ever said every piece of advice she's ever given me has just stuck inside of my head um basically all of the dating advice which doesn't really matter that much right now but all of the like advice on how to do things and why you should do them basically the reason why i do things is not to get something out of it it's to give something it's to i don't know like my goal for youtube is to entertain people it's to make them laugh it's making them feel happy even if they're not happy necessarily i will try to cheer someone up no matter who they are they can be like the randomest person ever they can be um any race any sexuality they can be any anything they can be anyone and if i hear that they're sad i want to cheer them up i want to help them and because of this one person that's been my goal for pretty much three years was just to make other people happy it wasn't about myself anymore and uh I really, I do miss talking to this person, but at the same time, we are, we haven't been on a good, like, we haven't really been on a very well stable kind of relationship, but I mean, my inspiration is this one person, but that inspiration, like, at first, it was for this one person, it was to prove something, and now it's not to prove anything, it's to make people feel comfortable with themselves the reason why i stopped doing youtube for a while and a lot of you wouldn't have known this but the reason why i stopped doing youtube for a couple of months was because i just thought i'm not entertaining no one's gonna like my videos and then me and this person stopped talking after a massive fight that we had and all of a sudden her advice rang in my head and it wouldn't stop and then i tried to remember the password to my youtube account i re-downloaded um bandy cam i think at the time and then i started recording i started getting back to work i started doing the things that i used to do i got a better mic because of the better computer and also because of my headset not this one and then i kept going for it i kept recording and doing things that i never thought i would do and then all of a sudden the channel started growing so my inspiration now is to remember to cheer people up because of the advice that I was given two years ago. 
So the basis of my inspirations from two years ago from this one person probably doesn't even know how much I appreciate them. And they probably never will unless they watch this video randomly because someone knows who I'm talking about. And trust me, there are people that watch my videos that know who I'm talking about. Trust me. But like, unless someone sees this and knows who I'm talking about and shows this to them, they're probably never going to know that what I'm doing right now is not something that i do because it's for me it's for you guys and honestly like as much as i sometimes make it seem like it's all about me it's really not i love having a chat because whenever i have a chat i can talk to people i can have like their opinions be told to me so like when i ask for video games what should i play for a video game i love having a chat so that they can tell me what they think is a good game i can research the game i can look up the game i can try playing it and then from there, I can, like, do all the things that I never thought I'd be doing before. But, like, with majority of the things I do on this channel, for instance, I I play a lot of, um, I play a lot of Minecraft, as you all know. That's, that's a thing I do. You should all know that by now. I, I really, I love doing what I do because it's just it's a lot of fun um and at the same time like i i play video games a lot you guys know that about me i play a ton of video games i i do that <laughs> that's why i'm here that's why i am on youtube and i don't think i'd change it for anything else like i mean obviously my fan base isn't massive but it's not small either um but yeah because of this one person and all the things that she's done for me even like now she still does things without even realizing it probably but like i have too many memories i remember too many things and i remember every day after school we would email each other because i didn't have anything to message her with otherwise so i'd get an email every day after school from her she would always ask how i'm doing and then we'd have a long conversation. We would sometimes even do this at midnight. And we did this for almost two years. Almost. Except for the fights and the fight phrases, we wouldn't talk for each other for a while. And then afterward, I talked to her again, and we started being friends again, and we kept doing those talks. And then after a while, it just kind of fell off the radar. And then we started fighting again for some reason. I actually can't remember anymore. Anyway. Uh, and yeah, now we just don't talk. But she did so much for me back then and like even now when i see someone having issues with like because two years ago i had like not really mental issues i had like i didn't have the confidence in myself to go out and ask someone out or like go and do this i, I had no confidence to do this kind of thing i had no confidence to do youtube and now that me and her aren't friends, which is kind of contradictory. It's kind of weird. As soon as we stopped being friends, I had the confidence all of a sudden. It, w it was a bit weird. The only reason why I had confidence is because I remembered what she said to me for the past two years. Every piece of advice she gave to me. I remembered it all, and then I started getting confidence and started doing this. And I started getting more energetic in my videos. I started getting a bit more uh, creative and more expressive. And now, I'm confident enough to slightly edit my videos with text on screen and like other things and the occasional cuts in boring parts of the video which this whole video is kind of being um and like the occasional adding music as well for certain videos not all of them and i i would love to thank this person i would Last time I talked to them, like, sincerely, didn't go too well. That was apparently because she was in a rough spot. I don't want to risk that again, so I'm not doing it. But, honestly, this person has done so much for me, and obviously is the reason, not the reason why I'm living, but the reason why I'm here doing this, because of all the advice she gave me. But also, that reason has kind of flipped, because as soon as I got to 73 subscribers and, like, 46 followers on Twitch... I decided it was no longer about that, it was about cheering you guys up, entertaining you guys, making sure you have something to laugh to if you need it, or something that you can just watch and feel better about yourselves, because how dumb I am. 
Um, and I figured it was the best way for me to uh, gain more friends because obviously I've gained more friends like from from a, an old stream that happened when I started the first fan server on Minecraft. Um, me and me and Oops I Gas slash Xander started becoming friends. We became friends over that server. And now we're still friends. We play video games all the time together. We still play Minecraft together. We play Prop Hunt. We play Fallout together. Like, we do a bunch of stuff together. And I couldn't ask for anything more, really, from the community itself. Because you guys are great. I will I will admit, you guys are fantastic. All of you. And the even the little amount of support that you give me, this is literally an appreciation thing for you guys now. All of the support you give me inspires me to do more, and I am doing more for all of you. That being said, um, next year will kind of be an issue for me because um, I'll have a lot of homework due to the fact that I will not be in class a lot. I will be out on the job, and I will be doing a lot of stuff in the field for my... Um, apprenticeship program thing that I'm doing for carpentry. Yes, I'm going to be a carpenter. It's going to be a thing I'm going to be. Um, and I'm proud of that, because there aren't that many. Especially where I am, we need more. And, honestly, I really don't know how much time I'm going to have for streaming, editing, recording. I really don't. I hope it's enough, but I just want to warn you guys now that next year, when I'm in grade 10... There won't be enough time for me, most likely. Um, but that's why I'm taking all of the regular course, like the mediocre courses. Uh, mostly because that's what I'm told to take, but also because it's the less of my workload. And then I can do free, I still have free time, basically, is what I was told. Because the program that I'm going into actually cares for, uh, one, obviously your future in like the job that you want to do and the thing you want to pursue. But also it has, it apparently, from what I've been told, also appreciates the fact that you want time for yourself and your family as well. So that's pretty cool. It's good for me. Um, but yeah, now my inspiration for doing Twitch and YouTube and streaming as often as I do and why I do it is literally just because of you guys being here to support me every step of the way. And I swear if I get a text after I upload this um, from the person that I'm talking about because... Okay, she she used to know how much I appreciated her. By the way, I had a massive crush on this girl in grade 7. Massive. Like, it was gigantic. Everyone knew except for her. I barely knew. <laughs> That's how big it was. Like, I barely understood what I was feeling. Um, and she probably didn't notice because apparently she liked me too. Anyway, skipping past that, um, we are two years into the future. And... If she had never given me the advice she'd given me two years ago, I wouldn't be here recording YouTube videos. I would not be a YouTuber. I'd probably just be a standard gamer, not sharing his ideas with the world and having fun with his friends. I'll tell you what. A lot of my friends have fun streaming with me, I think. <laughs> I think they have a lot of fun streaming with me. I'm trying to... I know today I'm not actually doing live streams with other people but I, I probably will change my mind about that because they're a lot more fun and a lot easier to do but i love recording with my friends i love doing streams with my friends because it's just so much ent more entertaining because like for me right commentating on my own i can't do it because i always want to make jokes and whenever i make a joke i expect a reaction and my friends know how to react to certain jokes even if it's like even if they don't find it funny, there's a way that they make me laugh when they don't find it funny, and it's amazing. And I mean, I'm not to say that you guys are terrible at that, I mean, I don't know. But, like, my friends are great. I love them, I love you, I don't, whoa. <laughs> I, I love, <laughs> you guys have just been super supportive of this channel, and I just, like, skip to, like, the end. But yeah, I love my friends because, not, not in that kind of way, but I love my friends because they're just amazing, they're always here for me if I need. They worry about me when I don't stream or if I'm not feeling great or they worry about me when I'm just not doing great. Um, and like I'll get questions every day and also stuff like that. But since one of my fans recommended I make a Instagram for this and I was inspired so much even though I want uh, and my friends are great too and here's why. They want to make me a new logo for the channel and I told them it has to be colorful. It has to represent blue. 
because that's what we're all about here. It's my favorite color, and it works. And as you can tell, my whole room is blue, the exception of the green McLaren and C-3PO, BB-8, and R2-D2 that you can barely see. But, like, I mean, guys, I love recording. I love streaming. And because of you guys, it's just so much easier for me to do. Because, like, I know there are people out there that want to watch and have subscribed to watch me. And, like, it's just amazing. And this has just turned into an appreciation post, but also at the same time, it's like... Had I not gotten to 50 subscribers, and this happened a long time ago now that I think about it, had I not gotten to 50 subscribers, I'd probably have just quit and stopped. But we're here. And, I mean, it's been growing so quickly compared to, like, what it used to be. Because before, it was literally just my friends subscribing to me. Before, and I'd tell them there. And then I started recording more and more, and people found my uh, advice and stuff helpful i guess and then more and more people found me and subscribed to me and here you are and here i am this is how i got here <laughs> two years ago two years ago started this whole thing for me and it helps that my dad has been super supportive of what i'm doing as long as i still do good in school and my mom is i guess sort of supportive of what i'm doing I don't know. She, she she seems supportive. Um, but yeah, it helps that my parents are supportive of what I'm doing here, and that my friends are supportive. And obviously, you guys, for those of you who have subscribed and watched every single video loyally, because uh, I know one of my friends binge watched my whole channel, like binge watch, like they every episode all the way through, every stream all the way through, they binge watched everything, and. That's pretty amazing. That's amazing dedication. But, like, I don't know what I'd be doing if I didn't have Twitch or YouTube or you guys. I'm prob I'd probably, right now, be sitting upstairs playing Forza for about 30 minutes, then be bored out of my mind trying to text people or hanging out with my friends, sort of. I don't know. I'll, pro I'll have tons of time to hang out with my friends. My friends are probably busy today, actually. Now thinking about it. Yeah, they probably are. Anyway. I'm so thankful to be here and do this stuff with you guys, and you guys get to watch me make an idiot out of myself and have fun across the whole spectrum. And honestly, I know, um, well, according to Epic Boss, and the person I was talking about does watch my videos, so if she does watch this and I do get a message from her, then whatever, but I, I honestly mean this. It's a whatever kind of thing at, the, at in that point for me, because... Sure, they are the reason why I'm here. They're the reason I have the confidence to do this. Or had the confidence. I don't really need it much more anymore. But they are the reason why I do this. Or were the reason why I do this. And now, I don't need it, really. But it, it's been extremely awesome to be here and see people get motivated and inspired by what I'm doing. And... I can't ask for really much more than that because you can ask you could try to ask any one of my friends and I think they'll agree because I constantly tell people I'm just here to cheer them up I'm here to make them feel happy not you know sad or whatever um and I, I bet a lot of my friends could tell you that that's true like even when I'm going through a rough time I don't tell them necessarily i just like they tell me about their issues and i help them out and a as much as i know it's probably not a great thing i'm probably supposed to like deal with my own issues as well which i do now um i, I take time out for myself you know it's not just twitch looks like i have a stub arm right now i don't trust me i'm i have two hands they're real um but yeah i uh I'm so glad to be here. I'm so glad to make YouTube videos, and it's fantastic. This video went on for a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, but yeah, that's my ins inspiration to be here on on YouTube. It's kind of my thing, and I I actually don't know how much like my life would change without it. But I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be nearly as great as it is as it is with YouTube and everything that's going on so yeah 
thank you all for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed i am gonna go uh right after this i have a stream once this is uploaded whenever that is i i don't actually know when that is I'm not gonna lie I, I actually don't i really don't know when that is um by the way, copyright music, copyright free music, sorry, not copyright music, copyright free music is in the background. I'm sure you might recognize the lyrics for a lot of them, but because it's remixes and there's more uh, original authors using the song, anyway, it's a lot. It's copyright free. I use this music in my streams as well. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, I'm assuming there's music. I'm not too sure. That's up to future me. <laughs> That really is but if he does add music it's copyright free it always is it's probably the same music that's my streams anyway i'm done for the day and not for the day that's my recording i hope you all enjoyed if you did then you know what to do <laughs> i was about to say hit the like button hit the subscribe button but i mean that kind of seems greedy at that point if you enjoyed the video just let me know and i hope this is what the guys and the people that who were asking for this was, were wanting i really hope i didn't just screw up everything because i'm uh, it's usually what i do um i really hope this is what you were looking for when i said what inspired me and if here's my one piece of advice if you want to do something don't wait for someone to tell you you can do it do just do it find a way that you can do what you want to do and look for the easiest way to do it at first and as soon as you get more advanced into the idea and you are doing what you want to do look for other ways that you can do it like just be creative with it don't like don't keep your mind in one state where you want to do something and you're just thinking you can't it's impossible it's because it's something you want and you can't have it if you want to do something like youtube make an account get a screen recorder i recommend obs that's what i'm using right now get a screen recorder learn how to use it get an editing software and just get play games that you love and like enjoy it and then you can do them and that's for youtube that's youtube advice or if you want to be a fashion youtuber you know like get images of fashions or like take out your clothes and start sharing your advice and opinions on clothes and stuff like that i don't know what fashion youtubers do i don't watch them i'm pretty sure that's how it goes it's what my <laughs> it's what i know from what my sister watches that's, that's about it but yeah if you want to do something don't don't sit a, around and look wait for permission if you want to do something and it's something you want to do go for it try it and if it's not for you then that's fine you'll find something else but like if you want something if you want someone don't wait you know just attempt take a leap of faith and if you want to be different don't want it be it but i mean don't change your personality for someone either like if you get what i mean like if you want to be a carpenter like me for example for a while i was like nah i can't do that because it's it's just too much but now i have a job where i assemble furniture it's not really carpentry but it's working with stuff and heavy heavy lifting so it's a really good train and it's really good for my experience but if you want to do something do it don't hesitate unless it's a bad thing basically if it's against the law, don't do it. But if it's not against the law, do it. Try it. See how it works. And hopefully it's a good. Cool. Yeah, anyway. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I will be streaming again after this uploads. Because this will just get uploaded straight away. Yeah. That's exactly what will happen. All right. I'm done. Not for the day. I'm done with this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Hope hope it um explained why I do what I do. And yeah. Cool. I'll see you all next time.